Hi guys, uh, I've just been sent uh, the new MX-04 bike from Shimilo, uh, which has got an internal uh, battery, um, enormous big uh, headlight here, and uh, uprated uh, switches, uh, waterproof switches and controller. It's got a thumb throttle here rather than the, the normal throttle. Suspension, hydraulic uh, brakes, uh, alloy pedals, uh, again hydraulic uh, brakes. And um, this one doesn't have rear suspension like the MX-03, but it's got a really strong uh, rack included. Um, that takes up to 25 kilos, so good for carrying heavy loads. It's got a sprung uh, saddle um, instead of suspension, and we've also got steel mud guards, or not steel alloy mud guards, and um, alloy mud protection. Uh, so it should be a lot more weatherproof. The usual uh, tourney. Shimano gears, alloy crank set, alloy pedals. You can charge it on the bike or you can take the, the battery out. And uh, there's a, a lock here for the battery. You can lock the suspension off here. Um, so that's basically the new bike. Oh yeah, I suppose the styling wise, it's got these uh, leather um, stitch leather uh, grips and I'll just show around uh, the controller slightly different from the M5 controller apparently it's a lot more waterproof and certainly these uh, switches look a, a lot more waterproof uh, a little horn I think in here not as loud as the other one and the usual uh, shift here okay so I'll give you a fair idea of the bike. It's a nice grey, light grey colour rather than a dark colour. All the cables are internal, uh, apart from the, the, the gear shift. Uh, so it's a lot more weatherproof, particularly with the, you know, the alloy uh, mud guards. So I've set first time out on the bike. I just uh, assembled it this morning, so um, fairly straightforward, similar to the, the other bikes, um, well packaged. Uh, uh, the actual controller here is slightly different from the previous M5, so the functions work slightly different. So I'm going to have to read the manual to get to know how it works. One of the problems I initially found was I couldn't find the, the switch for the light, but it's actually this this here. So if I just press that for a second, I think that's the, the light on there. So it's nice, nice bright light here. Okay, so that's that's the bike. It doesn't have any rear lights such as the, the MX-03. And this is the, the Bafang uh, motor. It's a 500 uh, watt Bafang motor. It's supposed to be uh, pretty good um, rather than Shimilo's own and branded uh, motor. The controller, all the electrics and the battery are inside here. Uh, so a lot better protection from the weather, you know, with the mud guards and everything being internal. Um, so, good chance to try it out because it's absolutely pissing down just now. Uh, I was ra I'd rather go out in the dry, but um, it means I've got to clean it afterwards. But at least the electric should be should be fine. I haven't been able to uh, work out how to change it from miles to kilometres, so it's on kilometres just now. So I will have a look at the manuals later on, and then do a proper review. Later I've on. got it in. Uh, gear number seven and it's power assistance five 
uh, I'm going to just uh, go down oh yeah it's got a nice stand here quite quite fancy uh, okay um, so I'm going to just go down through the power assistance to to one and uh, now there's no throttle but the, there is this uh, thumb throttle no, uh, I mean there's a throttle there's a thumb throttle so going down hydraulic brakes that's a the front one and I'll have to bed it in a little bit to see how it goes okay so going downhill so it's hard to know how the, the power assistance is working so 18 kilometers an hour rather than miles per hour it's quite a wide seat this so it should be comfortable um, it feels a bit strange because I'm used to a narrow uh, seat but it should be uh, a lot more comfortable in a, a long run So I'm just going to go up the power assistance, whoops, two, three, four, five. And it's certainly, you, you do feel the power kicking in, uh, though as I said, that I'm going downhill. earlier on it's a lot narrower tyres I think they were supposed to be like three inches but they actually seem a lot less and the bike generally is a lot lower a lot an awful lot lighter you know it's considerably lighter than the MX-03 and the narrower tyres it feels it feels quite light small and light and the, the seat basically uh, can go a lot lower so it will be more suitable to, to smaller people so I'm going to go uphill a bit here and see how it goes. So I'll try the throttle, throttle start. So that's starting uphill, so, so it certainly pulls without any problem. And that's uh, so again up to 25. 26 this is just in throttle 27 so throttle only power assistance 5 and I'm up at 28 you know, 30 kilometers an hour 28 Okay, it's really wet, so um, I'm not going to go very far. Yeah, certainly quite responsive, you know, just with the pedal assistance, uh, without too much jerkiness. You know, um, the power's a bit more gradual than the MX-03. So I seem to be limited to about 30 miles an hour. You know, the power assistance just stops if I try and pedal faster. Oops, I'm going to turn around uh, because it's uh, absolutely pissing down just now and I'm not wearing uh, waterproof leggings or anything. 
So yeah, the brakes seem to improved uh, from when I first tried in the first hundred meters. So yeah, uh, they're bedding in nicely. So throttle assistance here. Okay, despite not having the, the rear suspension, you know, I'm sitting in the seat and it feels surprisingly comfortable sitting on the road. Uh, it might be a slightly different matter on the, on the trails, but certainly this is quite a pothole uh, uh, all the old day nine here. Um, So the brakes are definitely Yeah the brakes are, are good. I thought initially I thought they weren't that good but you know it, it's just uh they needed bedded in. Uh okay so I've I've done you know for about three kilometers um so they should generally get better but I, I think it locks up pretty easily there actually. Um which means they're good. Okay, so okay, so absolutely dripping just now, so heading back to the house. So um, just a, a quick look at the the bike. Not my favourite of styling, but you know it's the new Buffine motor controller, and it certainly feels really nice, and it's very light. You know, very light compared to the MX 3 and a lot lower. Uh, so it's more suitable for uh, for lighter and shorter people. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, continue on. So that's me on throttle just now. Power assistance three throttle. Just take it off throttle. So I'm going up. I'm going uphill at the, the moment, just in throttle, and well, it's fairly straightforward, so no pedalling. 